Right, we are recording then. All right, cool. Oh man, this is a squeaky chair. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Q&A. This is the part of our program where you ask questions, I answer them, or I respond, I try and answer them. We'll see how it goes. Uh, tonight we are taking a look at three different questions that came out of our discussion this past Friday on individualism and how that plays into the life of a Jesus follower. Uh, tonight we're going to be looking at three questions. One is why am I less, less important than anyone else? Um, how does self-love fit into the way of Jesus? And what is the biggest lie our culture believes? So wow, good questions you guys, way to go. Okay. Well, let's just jump right in then. Okay, question number one. This is one that was in our Instagram comments. Uh, came from someone, I don't know who they are, but hey, I'm glad they commented on our post. It says, why am I any less important than anybody else? I believe that to find your purpose, you have to do what fulfills you. I will always come first before others. Okay, cool. So I think first off, it's probably important to clarify that the teachings of the Bible and the teachings of Jesus don't say that you are less important than anybody else, but you're certainly not more important than anybody else. Um, I think that is an absolutely direct outcome of our individualistic culture, because someone in an Eastern culture wouldn't say, I will always come first before others. They would say, my community always comes first before me. That is a direct outcome of our Western thinking. So, so that's really interesting. I believe to find your purpose, you have to do what fulfills you. And, and, and I, I don't think that's wrong, but in the same, at the same time, it can't be the only thing that fulfills us, right? Does that make sense? Because if that's the only thing that fulfills us, then what happens when we can't do that all of a sudden, right? Like what happens if we can't fulfill that purpose, right? Like if you have an accident and you are no longer a star athlete, um, just like last month, I ended up having to go to the eye doctor because my retinas were starting to detach. I'm not kidding you. And I, luckily I didn't need surgery in the moment, but we're gonna be monitoring it for a little while. And I thought to myself, I'm like, oh my goodness, what were to happen if I just like all of a sudden lost my vision? Right, like, like that's, that's crazy. But is my identity wrapped up in me, like as an artist being able to do artwork, or is it, is it in something greater than that, that will remain even if I can't do the thing that I think fulfills me, right? I hope that makes sense. Hope that answers that question a little bit. I will always come first before others. You know, that's a, honestly, that's an incredibly selfish statement, <laughs> right? Like to me, I go, wow, like if our whole society thinks that way, I think that is a direct reason that we have so much pain and brokenness in our world. If we're always thinking about ourselves, <laughs> how, does that, how does that help contribute to making our world a better place at all? Right? And, and, and I'm going to get to the self-help or self-love question in a little bit. It's not that we don't love ourselves, but, but to me, I just go like, wow, that, that's a really selfish thing to say. And, and maybe a lot of people watching this might go like, wow, I would never say that. Maybe they would, but in the, in the back of our minds, I think as an individualistic culture, we're probably all in that boat a little bit, right? Like we always immediately naturally think about ourselves before we think about others. And that's what Jesus was trying to teach against. He was trying to say, you know what? It's not about you. I love you. I think you're amazing. But I also think the person next to you is too. How are you going to show them the same love that I have shown you? So that's, that's my response to that first question. I hope that clarifies some things. Okay, Dana, anything to add? No, that's good. Okay, excellent. All right, cool. Uh, question number two. Uh, how does self-love fit in with the way of Jesus? This is one that came to us from our Instagram stories. Self-love, how does that fit in with the way of Jesus? So... As I mentioned in that, first, in that first response, it's not that we are less important than anyone else, but we're not more important. I think for us, we need to be able to see ourselves the way God sees us, right? If we don't see ourselves as being made in his image, valuable, wonderful creations, right? Like, you know, Psalm 139 says, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Like you have a dignity and a respect and a, um, a, and a purpose, right? Like you are good just as you are. And that's what God loves you for. And that honestly includes your flaws and your brokenness and your messiness, right? Like God thinks of you like that. 
So we should too. Like if we think of the two most important commandments, love God, love others. And in that commandment, Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself, which means that we are to love others in the same way that we would typically show ourselves love. So it's self-love is actually a really good thing, right? Like even though we, we are called to care for those around us, even though we're called to um, look out for the interests of others before us and live a selfless life, it's not that we neglect our own lives in order to follow Jesus, but we certainly don't make our lives more important than people around us when we follow Jesus. Hope that one helps. Hope that figured, yeah, hope that figured things out for you. Cool, okay. And question number three, what is the biggest lie our culture believes? How has individualism contributed to this? That's a big one. Um, I would say that it is that I'm, I'm good enough. I'm fine. Um, I've got it all figured out. I don't need anybody. Um, I think it's one of the reasons that people have such a barrier to the gospel because, you know, to be a Christian is to recognize that you've messed it up, that you are broken, that you do need Jesus. And, and, and that our culture, I think, has believed this lie that, you know, I can find all the answers within myself. I can find my purpose and my calling and I can fix all my problems because I am this incredible thing. And we... You know, we always are, are so easy to point out the, the brokenness in other people, right? Like, if I'm thinking about what's wrong with this world, oh, well, you know, this, 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 and this, all of those things that those people do, right? Like murderers and rapists and, and racists and sexists and all these things, like we can put all these labels, but we are so, we don't check ourselves first, right? Like we think we're fine. We think we're okay. And I think that's because of what individualism teaches, right? That you do you, look deep inside yourself to figure out who you want to be. And at, at no matter what the cost is, be sure to express that, right? Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, right? Like that's what individualism teaches. So, so I think that we have believed this lie that, yeah, we're fine. I don't need you, God. Jesus, I don't need you. I don't need the cross. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not as bad as that person. And God, how dare you tell me that I deserve hell simply because I've, you know, lied a couple times or because I, yeah. But then we also forget that God's standard has so much more to it, right? Like there's, so, there's this bigger definition of sin than just these little things that we think of that we don't deserve punishment for, right? Like <laughs> sins of, of omission where we know the good that we should do and we don't do it, right? Like, or are those impure thoughts that we have in our minds or, um, yeah, there, there's just so much, I could go on in that one for a little bit, but yeah, the biggest answer to that one I would say is that we think we're fine. We don't need God. We can do it ourselves. <laughs> Looked at you right as you took a picture. Sweet. Well, guys, I hope that worked. I hope that answered some of your questions. Once again, if you have more questions, we're going to be doing one of these every single week. So be sure to check out our video. They will always premiere at 7 o'clock on Fridays. And after that, you can put your questions in the comments on YouTube, on Instagram. You can send me a personal message. And I'm going to try my very best to answer those again next week. This coming Friday, we are talking about human rights. I think it's a really cool topic, and it's one that we don't, actually talk about in church very much um, but I think it's one that's so worth discussing so be sure to tune at seven tune in at seven o'clock this coming Friday for our discussion on human rights as we continue in this uncultured series hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again on Friday and next week bye